everyone, what's happening? You're here in the Empire with me, Dave, and as you can see, we are actually in the PlayStation VR. So you've got a bit of a video capture of what's going on on the headset here, and you've got me so you can see what I'm doing as well at the same time. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go through one of the tutorials here, which is a shooting range, so that should sit quite well with a lot of people. Um, it's very cool. Now, the PlayStation VR is going to cost you $630 in New Zealand. Um, bear in mind that you need to spend an extra $160 to get the camera and the move controllers, and a PlayStation 4 is going to set you back around $500 bucks as well. So you're going to be looking at about $1,100 to $1,200 before you even get this thing off the ground. But, here's the but, that's for a total package. For a lot of the PC gaming community sort of guys that are going to be running uh, VR headsets that way, like the Oculus or the Vive, you know, those are $1,000 peripherals on top of a gaming PC. Um, if you are looking to get into VR without spending $2,500, you know, Yes, this isn't cheap, but it is the cheapest VR offering that you can have by far. And as you can see here, um, you know, this is proper VR. There's no question about it. I, I'm, I'm more or less fully immersed in this. This is, this is pretty awesome. So, um, yeah. Uh, look, so, yeah, this is pretty much, pretty much there, right? Um, where are we? Where are we? Oh, yeah, there. Boom. <laughs> I did. I did get that little long ear dude. Oh. Nope. Yes. Need to. Get in. Damn. <laughs> okay, that was... That was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. So, 70.93 accuracy? Could do better than that. Oh, could do better than that, mate. Could do. Or, you know, not. Hmm. So yeah, you get all your challenges, things like that as well. You know, this is the this is the PlayStation VR game, uh, the VR experiences. So there's a whole bunch of these things to do. Uh, this is just the first one that I've picked, which is the which is the heist. So yeah, I, I've already played it once, which is why I've got a higher score than that. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, oh, oh, hey. Cool. Uh, so you got a whole bunch of different shooting galleries and stuff as well, but this is just without even, uh, let's see here. Story? Story. Story? No. There we go. Okay, that's a bit tricky. Uh, select difficulty. No, let's go for gangster. Right, so um, mm, I keep wanting to put my hands out to catch these bullets as they do their thing, um, but yeah, you know, it's my hands aren't really there. So this is this is proper, fully immersed VR. You know, it knows where I am. It moves around. Um, yeah, this is this is this is the real deal, guys. So if you are looking to get into VR, or if you've already got a PlayStation Four. Then, then this is how you do it. Right. We lost them.
Has he offended you for this now, eh? You see, the fight say they're pretty fucking limited with gear. How are you going? So we quiet, we quit to leave us and take a break. But oh no, you have to do a little fucking disappearing act. Why are you? Some sort of fucking magician. <laughs> Magic trick of me on, I'd like to show you. I think he's gonna fucking love this one. Yeah. Whoops. Ta da! <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. French Tony's dead. I had to let him go. He taught me to the Russians. <laughs> Victor fucking Kuzma and his Russian fucking money. From a prison cell or a coffin. He's spot on. This Russian lot they ain't got a clue. <laughs> I want to shoot everyone else. I want to put my hand on that table. But that table is not there. Even the beef copper can't ignore that. They'll get us all banged up. Clean, itch it when you're done. Earpiece, brand new drink, cash for the job, not the horses. Now, I've made sure the alarms are switched off, so all you've got to do is walk in, get the diamond, and walk out again. Easy. I thought I said no one was allowed up here. But what the security forces you asked for? Those boys done them. On a computer. Thanks, Mickey. Now they are the fucking bollocks. We're talking. Right. Okay. What are we talking about? What are you, the old bill? None of your fucking business. Now go through the background. All right, Frank. As I was saying, I've 
known you since you was little. You've been part of the family since we took you in. And that's what I see you as. Clown. Now look at the paper for the back seat. Enjoy some of what we built up over the years. Yes, you are. <laughs> now, I love Mickey, but he can barely take a shit on his own, let alone run this lot. But you, on the other hand, have got what it <laughs> takes, when the time comes, to keep this little kingdom out of the hands of men like Kozlov. But you've got to earn it. You know what this is? This whole business trapped between the pages of a little black book. If you pull this off tonight, it's all yours. Take them off yourself. <laughs> okay, I think you can actually see quite easily just how immersive this thing is this like all of the things that i'm doing here i'm i'm doing you know it, i feel like i'm trying to put my hands on things that they feel like they're there they they feel like they ought to be there and they're, they're really not you know oh this is a bit less happy uh. The 3D audio was really good then. It came specifically through this ear. It was like I had a phone to my ear. Okay, guys, this is amazing stuff. Um, right, I'm in position on the roof. I can see ya. Now find that fucking diamond. Frank sorted the alarm, so I'll give you a heads up if I see anyone coming. Frank says it's hidden in Kozlov's desk. Check the drawers. See what you can find. Nice gun, bro. That coat must be in somewhere. Keep looking. Ammo. God's coming. Get down. <laughs> is clear. You're fine. We ain't seen you. What's 
<laughs> Shit, I thought Frank sorted the alarms. I'll bring the van round. You're gonna have to shoot your way out. Amazing. amazing okay cool um guys like i'm just going to cut this video here because that has got to be one of the best gaming experiences that i've had in the longest possible time um if you were if you were not sure you were going to get one of these and you have the capability to get one and you want to have some really great gaming experiences this is worthy this is truly worthy of of the investment so you know guys go for it this is an amazing piece of kit and yeah Sony have uh, Sony have outdone themselves here so you know um, I can't give it a score on 1 to 10 it's the f oh, shit <laughs> it's, 
It's the first time I have had an experience like this, so that's pretty cool.